So for this little video, I'm hoping to keep it short and sweet. Um, I needed to uh, finish a couple of jewelry pieces, and so I thought I'd talk to you about how I finish cord ends and um, do a little wire wrapping. So the things that you're going to need are uh, like 20 gauge wire. You can use artistic wire or bare copper. This comes from a hardware store. Uh, you're going to want round nose pliers, uh, some chain nose pliers, uh, a nipper to cut the wire, and uh, cords of your choice. I'm going to use uh, a faux suede cord, and uh, I'm also using, uh, this is um, a yarn that's made by Red Lion, or Lion brand rather, and it's called Fettuccine. It's really hard to find, but um, I love it. It's, it's like t-shirt material, strips of t-shirt that have been sort of pulled until they roll into a into a, a curve so it's it's an open if you you can open it up but it stays curled and it's really soft and nice on your neck so I really like using it so other things that you might want to have I usually put uh, an extender at the back of my uh, necklaces so I just cut a piece of chain about approximately two inches that will um, that your lobster claw clasp will fit into. So that's what I'm going to use. And I like to put a little something to dangle at the back of it. I find the weight of it helps keep the uh, the uh, necklace centered on your neck better and um, uh, keeps it from spinning around a whole lot. So, and it doesn't matter what you do. I, I've got uh, a couple of things chosen here. One with a crystal. Let's see here crystal and a copper ball and a seed bead so whatever works back there just have a little bit of weight and uh, so we'll get started I'm going to start with the, uh, the fettuccine yarn and um, I've cut a, a length probably longer than what I'm going to need uh, I'll use scissors also and jump rings to finish off and uh, so I'm going to cut a piece of wire and hopefully I can do this. My eyesight's not so good, so I usually hold this right up to my face when I'm doing it, but I'm going to try to do it at a little bit of a distance. So I, I'll cut probably about a good four inches, uh, even five inches. It's probably too much, but I'll cut two pieces like that. And then I'll take the round nose pliers and down about, I'd say, uh, a little bit more than an inch, I'll, I'll uh, bend it over and then fold it back so that it, it makes like a P shape. And then I'll, I'll just take my, my chain nose pliers and just kind of straighten this out a little bit and push that up so that I've got a straight edge coming down this way and then this is the area that's actually going to be wrapped. So I'll do that on both of them. Push it up. So I don't measure too closely. I'm just eyeballing it. Um, this is longer than what I'm going to need. It's going to be trimmed off. This is longer than what I'm going to need. It's going to be trimmed off. But better to have too much than not enough. So then I'll take my end and I'll start with one end that's not measured, doesn't matter. And I like to have the, um, the wire going around the back so that when it comes in front of my uh, piece of yarn, um, I don't know, might be really hard to see this on camera. Let's see if we can get that a little closer. So it's it's crossed over here. And then I'm gonna wrap it around this way. So I'll put that behind me and then I'll hold it with my chain nose pliers. And it's long enough that I can just use my fingers to start pushing it around. And if you start to get gaps, stop and use your oops <laughs> didn't need to make that noise but use your chain nose pliers and tighten it up so 
So that's what, five wraps, I guess. That's more than enough. Now I'll come and I'll cut this excess off, making sure I'm not cutting my cord. Hold your little bits so they don't fly. Then I'll put the chain nose pliers back on the, uh, I'm holding both the loop and the cord. And I'll finish wrapping this around. When you're past the wire, it's, um, yeah, you you want to lighten your tension a little bit so that it doesn't scoop in because there's no wire to support it. So I only wrap as far as my fingers will let me. And then I'm going to trim this. Trimming it flush. And then use my chain nose pliers to tuck that in. And you want to run your finger over that to make sure there's nothing catching you. There's nothing worse than a little sharp metal behind your neck. So just tightening up all my, my wraps. And then I'll take a good sharp pair of scissors, or you could use your nippers. The scissors actually work a little bit better, and I'll start to trim this excess yarn off. There are a couple of yarns that you can actually um, burn off, but I've done that and I find it makes it really stiff. So you're just better off, I think, just to trim it flush. So that end is done. So then what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll measure it on my body and uh, determine where my other side needs to go. So just give me a second. Okay, so I've decided that it's going to go here. So this is all excess, so I'll cut off some of that excess. And again, I've got my bit of wire with the, uh, with the loop on it behind the yarn. I'll hold it with the chain nose pliers. And I'll start wrapping as tightly as I can. I'm very fond of copper wire for uh, for this. I, I find silver tarnishes too much and uh, gold I'm not really fond of. Um, copper is going to tarnish, but when it does tarnish, it's, it's a nice look. <laughs> so uh, that's why I use so much copper. Okay, just trying to tighten that up a little bit. Okay, so while you've still got yourself, you know, about an inch of wire, that's when you want to make sure that you trim this. Then I'll hold it again with the chain nose pliers, that's like your extra hand, and do those last couple of wraps until it's too stiff to work with. Trim. and tuck that end in. Make sure there's nothing sharp. There. Kind of hard to tighten up a whole big row like that, but and get the job done. I like using scissors for this job rather than uh, than my uh, nippers because sometimes the nippers will nip your wire. I've done it. It's not fun. You have to start over if that happens. 
Okay, so that's done. So now simply, I'm, I'm going to attach some things with jump rings. I take my jump ring, uh, use two chain nose pliers, or if your hands are strong enough, you can hold one end and open it sideways. I'll do a couple here so that they're done. And uh, I always double check, make sure what side I need to put this on. I'm right-handed, so I put them on the right. So one jump ring goes on, and then your lobster claw clasp goes on that. I usually, actually, maybe we'll use a smaller, I like a smaller jump ring for the lobster claw end, and the larger one for the end with the, um, with the chain. There's jump ring closers and stuff too. They work pretty good. I just didn't bring them down with me. So that end is done. Now the other end is going to have the chain on it. And before I put the chain on it, I like to, to work on my little dangle. So say for this one, I'm going to do the copper heart with just a black pearl. So I'm going to put them on it. It's on a head pin. Put them on the head pin. Take my round nose pliers. I don't want a big loop on here, so I'm going to hold them fairly close to the tip. Push that over. Change the position of your round nose pliers. And push that over again, over the top this time. Put your round nose pliers in the, in the um, loop that you made. And bring the end around so that you have a little hole. Or a little uh, circle. So now the circle should be open a little bit. And then you can slide on your chain. And hold the circle, top part of the loop. And it's easier to do this with two pliers, so I'll take pliers on the other end. If you have to reposition your uh, your chain nose pli your pliers, go ahead and do that. Be good. So that's about two wraps, and that that's enough to hold it. So I'm not going to get too carried away with that. Again, I'm going to trim this as close to it as I can. Put my finger over the edge of the wire. There we go. And tuck in that, that little edge there. That's where I usually need to hold this up to my eyes to see. That's it. No sharp edge edges, so that's good. So now we'll take that other jump ring that's open and put it on this end. Put the wire on it as well and close it up. You can do that with my fingers, I guess. Uh, I like to go back and forth a couple of times when I close jump rings. It, it helps to uh, work harden the metal a bit. And uh, y if you apply pressure, you can sort of squeeze it in. And um, you want a fairly strong uh, jump ring, uh, not these really thin, wimpy ones. <laughs> So that's it. That's a necklace that's done now. And the lobster claw will fit there and it'll also fit anywhere along here if you want to wear that with a sweater. So that one is, is finished. Um, we'll do the other one. It's basically the same thing. I've used two cords of uh, faux suede on this one. So again, I'll cut myself two pieces of wire. Let's 
see how fast we can do this. <laughs> I like to keep my cord ends even when I start. Now oh, see I have quite a gap there so before it gets too far, straighten it out. So as I was wrapping that one, it wanted to go on top of the previous wrap. So I backed it off and redid it. Back it off right away. You run, you avoid a lot of problems that way. Nip that end. Sometimes with the faux suede, I find them easier to cut with the nippers. Okay, so again, then I determine the length that I want and uh, do the other side, the same as, as this one. And um, I'll, I'll do this bit again so you can see it. That's for the dangle on the end. Push it down, move your, pl your uh, round nose pliers, push it over the top. To reposition your pliers so that the bottom jaw is in that little loop you made and pull it around the bottom and you've made yourself a little loop. So then you take your chain and if you have to open up the loop you go ahead and open up the loop otherwise sometimes you can just force it in there so it's in. Take my chain nose pliers, hold that circle and start to wrap. This one will go okay without the second set of pliers, but well, maybe not. There we go. That's plenty. Nip that as close as you can. Nippers are starting to show their age. There we go. And tuck that end in. There. So that's that's basically it. That's how I uh, finish off a lot of my necklaces, uh, more simple ones. Um, I will cover at some point doing end caps and uh, sari ribbon because that's um, treated a little bit differently. But um, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And if you did, please uh, click the like uh, button and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.